Hey guys, KLink86, AK Ram. Welcome to another reaction video of Shallow. I'm suing Mid Journey Nuggets. So from the looks of it, it looks like we're gonna have a, gonna have a bit like a sit down kind of, I guess, on why he's gonna do this. And I think also find out what's he gonna do. Can't wait. Oh, well, if you guys are wondering, um, I'm heading to the gym right now. So like I said before, I am I can see through on my peripheral vision. I can hear, I'll make sure I turn my volume up. And I'll listen. Have a good day, have a fun guys, and let's hear what he has to say. This is ridiculous. I would have never expected this to happen to me in a million years, uh, especially because of this man, of all people. I've been having to put frozen florets on my neck, uh, so as you can tell, my other ice pack isn't working very well, to the point where I have to resort to my freezer for frozen foods to treat my injuries. Sop, thank you for tuning into the video, and welcome to Shallow. Uh, this video uh, is... Uh, not particularly a video that I wanted to make, but um, I feel like at this point I, I need to. Um, I have so much built up anger and, and disappointment and uh, just a lot of mixed emotions that I've been keeping inside that I think it's finally time to just, you know, throw everything out on the table, put everything out into the open air for everyone to uh, listen to. Um, because I've had enough, quite frankly. I've had enough, uh, the entire community has had enough, everyone has had enough. I'm not, not gonna lie guys, it does uh, hurt to sit like this um, with my back, but uh, what can you do, right? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, my, my neck still has a pain uh, toward the back. Uh, I, I have the neck brace off at the moment. I've been applying ice regularly to it and uh, I've been taking medicine, I have been taking medicine. Um, I can't move my head around too, too crazily. Uh, otherwise, it'll it'll hurt it even more. As most of you know, I'm assuming a lot of you know uh, what's going on with the current situation with me and YouTuber McJuggerNuggets. Um, if you don't know, I highly suggest you uh, go and watch my uh, recent videos on my channel uh, and his recent videos and my friend Josh's recent videos who was with me and uh, his girlfriend, Jesse's girlfriend's recent videos, uh, his cameraman's recent videos, everyone's f***ing recent videos, yeah, because it's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff happened, a lot, a lot went down at the Rigid House, um, and, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get right into that, okay, um, I, I wanna, I wanna start by giving a little bit of a backstory as to why me and my friend Josh uh, went to the Rigid House in, in the first place. Me and Josh wanted to go to the Rigid House because we wanted answers, right? We, we, we wanted we wanted answers, honestly. Um, you know, on behalf of, uh, from coming from fans of, of uh, this channel uh, for the past seven years, by the way. We've been fans of McJuggerNuggets, uh, Jesse, for seven years. Uh, that's, how, I, I, that's actually how me and Josh became friends, was by watching this man uh, and the videos that he makes. And uh, one thing led to another, and we're here today um, showing up at, at the Rigid House. So it's crazy how the world works in mysterious ways. Um, but yeah, we've been longtime fans of this guy. This guy's been an idol to us. We wanted to show up to the house uh, to, to get some answers from him, uh, because on behalf of us and the rest of the McJuggerNuggets community, we're a little pissed. We're, we're, we're actually very pissed uh, at some of the decisions that Jesse has made uh, recently and in the past, um, especially with the whole, uh, you know, his, his platform Storyfire uh, situation with the shutdown, uh, whatever the f*** that was. Uh, that was a uh, very... Um, controversial uh time on on his channel and uh for everyone um that's that's a whole train wreck that i will get into uh in a bit uh we wanted to find out about that we wanted to find out about uh deck chair with with this platform uh that he refuses to be transparent about to anyone uh for for uh no reason literally no reason at all he just won't tell anyone and uh he doesn't give a single shit about his fans um uh and i mean yes we did show up uninvited to the rigid house um but i i i can't i can't sit well with the fact that he was acting so f***ing surprised about us showing up i, I mean dude you're literally putting videos of yourself on your social media saying, oh, you know, we're constructing rooms in the Rigid House. Who wants to live in one? Who wants to rent out a, a Rigid House 
room in the basement. And then you act so f***ing shocked when fans show up asking about the rooms that you're talking about on your Twitter. It, it's very, it's, I, I just, I think it's overplayed and, and you're exaggerating and you're a f***ing drama queen. Um, we, we showed, yeah, we, we, we showed up to ask about the rooms uh, and a lot of other things that we wanted to ask about. Um, and, and for you to say, you know, uh, I don't know you guys. I don't know. Yeah, you do. You know, I, I mean, I, 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 I could argue the fact that you have seen uh, multiple of our videos on, on your platform, um, including the fact that you were literally in one of my f***ing videos, multiple of my f***ing videos, we've talked before. You, you know who I am, man, all right? Don't, don't play this dumb act for your f***ing audience. Again, it's just a, it's a sign of not being transparent and being fake on camera. You're fake, dude. You're fake on camera. You're uh, a, a dickhead right from the beginning. I don't know you. Oh, get off the poor, you know, or whatever. You're uh, completely uh, just, just you, you have this unsettling vibe uh, right from the get-go. Um, and it's very easy to pick up on that in person and on video. Um, and we're just fans, man. Come on. I mean, you're a YouTuber. We're fans. You're having a fan interaction. Don't be a f***ing dick. Uh, so it rubbed me the wrong way that you were so reluctant to let us in the house and, and talk to us further about these things. I mean, shit, dude, you're getting mad acting like we broke into the rigid house in the middle of the goddamn night. No, you asked us into the f***ing house with you. You asked us to come inside with you. But All right, get in the house. And why is that? Why did you ask us to come inside with you? I know. I know, um, and, and, and the answer to that question is uh, actually a very common pattern uh, throughout this conversation that we're going to have right now, and uh, it, it has a very special connection to the Jugger Nuggets um, and what he's all about in the first place. You finally let us in for one thing. Does anyone want to guess? Uh, does anyone want to guess at all? Huh? Survey says money! Yes! Woo! <laughs> Yay! Money! Of course. That's all you want. That's that's the only reason you let us in your f***ing house. You don't give a shit about us. You don't give a shit about the fact that we're, we're fans and that, you know, we adore your work. You don't give a f*** about that. You don't want to talk to us. You let us in because you know we had money. That's all you give a f*** about. You, you're a money-hungry f***. Alright? That, that's all you are. You, you, you don't give a sh about anyone, even the people that you live with, even your girlfriend. But I'll get into that in a minute as well. Finally let us in, and, and, and you, you push us right to the theater. Right to the theater, right down into the dusty basement that has literally uh, coats of dust laying around because of the construction. Uh, a, a very, uh, quite frankly, a health hazard. Um, you're, you're, you're practically keeping us prisoner in your basement, telling us we're not allowed to leave, we can't get food, we can't go to the goddamn bathroom. I mean, I, I was pissing in f***ing buckets, dude. And I hope you find one of those buckets, by the way. I, there's, there's about a gallon of piss total in it. Um, and, and I hope it just spills and just it ruins your floor or some shit. That, that would be hilarious. Uh, you don't let us go out uh, into the rest of the house. You don't let us talk to anyone. It's like you don't you don't give a f*** about us. You, you're, you're literally milking us for our money, and then you're turning around, closing the door, and going on your way. That, that, that's the only interaction that you care about doing with your fans. Get that through your head. Your fans. As I, it, it's mind-boggling. You ask us up front right away, 500 a night. It's like, buy you one night. What do you think this is? It's $500. Um, and I, I understand, you know, it's your house. We're coming into your house. And, and, and you pay for to get a hotel or an Airbnb or something like that. But 500 a night for your fans, dude. I mean, you're a YouTuber. Come on, man. Like, it's like, can you make any sort of compromise at all? Uh, it, it's just, you know, we had money and, and we were willing to pay it. Of course, we weren't going to sit there um, and, and, and argue with you. You know, if you watch that first video on your channel, we're more than willing to give you the money. We're more than willing to make make it work with you. Um, and, and so we do that. And, and, and already, you know, you're, you're, oh, we might have to round it down, you know, two and a half nights. What the f a half night, Jesse. What are you, what are you trying to do here? You know, we're in your goddamn basement, dude. You don't fucking use it. You just posted a Twitter video the first time, the first movie night. It's like you don't fucking use the thing, and you're gonna give us two and a half nights. Who the fuck's going in there, dude? You got dusty posters hanging up of your fucking has been series. Like, come on. I, I had it out with your ex cameraman Swift a little bit, uh, who was actually nice enough to, to come down there and then talk to us. Uh, you know, he, he, he wanted to talk to the, the, the prisoners for, for a little bit and make us a baloney 
Dave sandwich that looks like he fisted it with his fist. But uh, he came down there, talked to us. I I, I appreciated the gesture. Uh, it's something that you would never do, um, and uh, I, I I appreciated that. Our whole point of going there to actually have f***ing conversation with you uh, was completely uh, burned. That opportunity. Uh, Dis dissipated into dust and I, 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 honestly I should have known I mean we're trying to actually communicate with McJuggernuggets you know I, I should have known that that, uh, that wouldn't happen because there's zero f***ing communication with your fan base whatsoever so I mean I, I guess we should have seen it coming still it was, uh, it, it was a tough pill to swallow it, it starts off as 500 a night in, in these rooms and, and, then, and then it suddenly just becomes 600 a night uh, you know, you, you, you go, you go uh, a little bit of time ahead and, and you just raise the rent suddenly. Oh, it's just 600 now. I mean, it's so f***ing blatant what you're trying to do um, that it, it's not even funny, dude. Like, you're, you're literally just trying to, to, to take every cent that you can from our pockets. And uh, I, I want to get a little bit into the, uh, the actions that me and Josh did uh, while we were staying at the Rigid House. Um, I, I'm going to start off by saying, by, by, by no means am I saying that these are rational actions that we took, uh, especially me, you know, Josh being a bystander of a lot of it, filming it. Um, by no means is it, I, I'm, not, I'm not sitting here trying to, trying to say that I'm a perfect uh, person. I, I'm, I'm a human being. You know, we're all, we're all humans, and, uh, you know, some of the actions were irrational. We, we were just looking around for answers because you wouldn't give it to us, Jesse. You know, uh, at, at the end of the day, it's not even about us at this point. It's about getting answers for the community to, to, to know about, about this guy. But, yeah, you know, we, 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 we did these uh, actions um, as, uh, as rash as they were uh, because, you know, sometimes if, if, you, if you gotta... If, if you gotta do, you know, if you gotta make rash decisions and, and, and you gotta be a little abrasive with the stuff that you do uh, for for the better good of, of things, then so f***ing be it, dude. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm taking fault for it. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put everything out on the table. Um, and, 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 and the things that I did are the things that I did uh, to get answers. It, it's like, you don't give a shit about anyone, bro. You don't give a shit about us. You don't give a shit about your fans. And you don't give a shit about the people that you're living with. I mean, your own girlfriend, bro. Um, the things that you have done to us on this trip throughout the, the span of events, the, 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 the way that you have presented yourself to me and Josh and, and the audience and, and the people that you're around is it, f***ing ridiculous, dude. Like, you're an asshole. You've been an asshole this whole f***ing trip to us for no reason. You, you've, you've been uh, just, just a dick. I, I understand that people go through financial issues. I understand that people go through times, hard times in their lives. But, but to take it out on your fans oh, and, and the other people that you know, what the f*** are you doing, bro? You know, your girlfriend, you want to throw her under the bus for that whole f***ing jewelry, your mom's jewelry incident. You're hanging out with, with criminals who apparently are rubbing off on you. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, and that you, you lie right in front of her to, to your parents' faces. Like, uh, how the f*** do you do this and go to sleep at night? I, I'm genuinely asking you that question. How do you do it, bro? How? You, you you throw her completely under the bus and make your parents think that she's a f***ing thief. For what, bro? To, to protect yourself? What do you... Why? I'm, I'm, I'm saying this genuinely, dude. Like, I think you need professional help. And I'm not trying to, you know, say that as a joke or anything. Like, I do think you need help. Um, like, professional uh, conversation with someone who can hear you out and, and help you. And I'm sure there's uh, at least one therapist somewhere in East Bumblefuck that uh, would be brave enough to sit down with you and talk to you, um, of all people. Um, because you, you need the help, bro. Uh, not only did you treat your girlfriend like because of that whole situation. I mean, just the things that you say to her and, and talk about throwing her in a, her body in a lake. Like, are you f***ing, like, what are you doing? Dragging her. Yeah, okay, well, how about I drag your f***ing dead body into the lake? Come on, dude, you're, you're putting it out on the internet for everyone to see. Have, have you no shame for the way that you talk to Ashley? I mean, you're, 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 you're talking to a woman here, dude. Like, have some respect. Um, be a f***ing gentleman for once. I, I know it's hard for you, uh, but be a f***ing gentleman. It really, uh, I'll say it again, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm completely admitting the fact that that was a rash uh, panic mode decision of me getting in Nick's truck uh, with Josh filming me. And, and yes, we were going to drive it to the PA house because we find it a little 
suspicious. We find that whole situation suspicious, just like we found the shutdown uh, situation suspicious with, with Story Fire. And everything you do, we find suspicious uh you have this weird fetish this weird obsession with with mixing reality and and, and fiction and and you know when it comes to a f-ing business with the story fire you don't do that f-ing, all right you, you leave that at the f-ing door with the psycho series it's been over for f-ing five years bro you you, you you don't keep doing that especially trying to, to mix the worlds of fiction and and a professional business you're trying to run a f-ing platform jesse act like it I don't know what you and Brian are doing behind the scenes, sitting around with your thumbs up your asses, but fucking wake up! On behalf of fucking everyone in the community, wake up! What are you doing? Your platform is dying, bro. It's fucking dying. I don't, I don't blame the people that hit the fucking road and ditched Storyfire the, the minute that they could when they started realizing that this platform was being driven into the fucking ground by its own creators, by the decisions of its own creator. It's, it's mind-boggling, bro. It's insanity. You need to step off of the fucking pedestal that you've been sitting on since the end of the Psycho series and realize, realize that for once, dude, be you. You're a YouTuber. You're on YouTube. Be you. Don't be Isaac. Don't be Psycho Kid. Don't be Jesse Tyler. Don't be Mirror Man. Don't be Danny f***ing Downs. Be f***ing you. For once, be yourself. No one has seen you be yourself. You refuse to be yourself on f***ing camera. Be transparent. Back to the pool. Jesse didn't give a sh- uh, while that was happening. I mean, to the point where Ashley is literally telling him, like, asking him, can he do something? Can he, you know, uh, talk to us for, for what we were doing? He didn't do anything. He stood there and filmed the entire thing and then proceeded to pull us uh, around the corner. And our, our, he, he tells us that he doesn't give a sh- I ain't going to sh- about that pool. What? 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 Give a sh- what? what? Huh? You don't you don't give a shit about your girlfriend's pool. I, I mean, yeah, it was it was pretty obvious by, by the fact you didn't do anything while it was happening. But then you literally confirm it on camera, on film. You don't give a shit about it, and then you continue to ask for money from us for the damages of the pool. Well, I'll tell you what, I deserve a little something, something, you know. Like, yeah, see that floaty over there? That was a hundred dollars. I need like seven of those not not for your girlfriend you know i want you guys to know this this one uh, specific thing jesse doesn't fight for anyone else he doesn't he doesn't defend anyone else he wasn't trying to get money for her or her pool or uh, any any of that bullshit. he wanted the money to pocket for himself from us for a pool that he just told us uh, seconds before that he doesn't give a shit about can't you see what the problem is in, in, in that whole situation i mean it's ridiculous uh, Ashley, if you're watching this, I don't know why you would, you would be watching this, but uh, if you are, I, I do want to extend an apology to you uh, for for uh, running through your pool. I had no f***ing idea that it was your pool or that you were doing some you know deal on your channel. I, I, I had no f***ing clue, all right? We were trying to go to PA. We were in a, our adrenaline was rushing through the roof. I saw a pool in my way. I saw an obstacle, and, and I had to crash through it to get some answers, quite literally. You know, I, I, I did not, I had no intention of, uh, of, of a personal attack on you with knowing that it was your pool. I, I had none, none of that in mind, no intention of mine of doing that. Um, and I understand that that was yours, and uh, you, you, don't, you don't really deserve it for that. I'm sorry. Um, and, and Nick, if you're watching this, I want to apologize to you as well for you having to put up with the shit that Jesse does to you uh, as far as you being an employee for him. Uh, he doesn't pay you. He, does, he, he keeps money for himself. He doesn't pay anyone. It's ridiculous. Everyone can, can, can pick up on that fact by now. And I think we all can agree on some sort of stance that when it comes to Jesse, you know, he's on one side of, of the, the spectrum being a f***ing asshole to everyone else around him, and then everyone else is on the other side wondering why why is he being a f***ing asshole to everyone. Coming from me, even, like, that is a dick move. You took $2,000 from us just in rent from your fans. $2,000 just on rent. And then at the end,
the end of all things that have happened. This, this is this is the best part, guys. This is this is the f***ing punchline of the whole f***ing thing. You walk into the theater in the middle of the night, go through our personal backpack, and steal our f***ing money. You stole from us. You're literally, like, robbing us. Like, you f***ing robbed us. Like, we had no idea that you were doing that. We were fast f***ing asleep. And you steal the money out of the backpack and then proceed to wake us up and kick us out of your f***ing house at 1 a.m. And then break Josh's camera in the process? What the f*** is wrong with you, dude? You know, you want to coin the term psycho and, you know, psycho's your thing. No, you want to see psycho. You haven't seen f***ing psycho. You haven't seen it. Out of all the people that you could choose to f*** around with, I'm not one of them. And especially have the balls to put that shit up on the f***ing internet. You want to put up a video of you committing a f***ing crime. That's illegal, Jesse. You can't f***ing come for us and, and, and tell us that we're committing all these different crimes. You know, you want to come, you want to you you yell in my face. So, destruction of property, you know, stealing Nick's truck. You've done the same thing, mother. Right. Destruction of property. So, film me right now! Get that out of here! Right. Those are stolen truck. Then. Dude. Damn. There was $4,000 in that fing bag. You stole it. You stole $6,000 from us total. $6,000. I'm not saying I'm perfect, and I'm not defending the actions that I made. But you, out of all people, cannot play victim. You're not victim. You're just as bad as I am. If not worse. Don't try to put on this fake game anymore, dude. Everyone's put up with it. Enough with being fake. You don't give a fuck about me. You don't give a fuck about anyone else. And I'm hoping I can bring that point across, at least somewhat in this video, for those of you that are watching this, that Jesse is, is a fucking crook. You can't believe anything that comes out of his mouth ever since his fucking existence started on the internet. You can't trust anything that comes out of this guy's mouth. So with all that being said, Jesse, um, I have to take some sort of action. Um... I'm not. I'm not going to sit around and and uh, with 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 literal f***ing injuries. I mean, it's it's f***ing ridiculous. I have uh, a fractured wrist. I'm wearing a back brace. My neck is up. F***ed up. I had to wear a brace for a couple days using ice, using icy hot, um, all all kinds of to uh, make my neck feel somewhat better. Um, and it's all because of you. It's all because of your gang. I, I've never seen this before. Um, I, I never expected this in a million years that I would be f***ing assaulted and and uh, just, just put in a completely, uh, almost uh, torturous environment. Um, it, it's f***ed up, and uh, um, I'm hoping that you can feel some sort of shame or regret for the uh, things that you've done. And, uh, you know, if you, if, if, if you don't feel that way, that's fine, because I'm taking action anyways. Um, I've been talking to a lawyer for the past four or five days um and we've had discussions about the whole ordeal and uh we're suing you I i'm i'm suing you i'm i'm taking you to court for destruction of property assault and theft and uh it's pretty easy to to prove uh those charges with the fact that you've uploaded it to your own f***ing channel uh because you're that dumb so uh yeah i, I I'm, I'm taking you to court um you have approximately uh, 10 days to respond uh, to, to me in some way or fashion. Uh, me and my lawyer have already reached out to you uh, through email. I've sent multiple DMs uh, to which little surprise you, uh, of course, have not answered other than the petty f***ing tweets that you've been making about me like a f***ing 12-year-old. Um, you, yeah, you have 10 days starting from the upload date of today to get back to me. And if you don't... Um, that's okay, too, uh, because I don't know if you guys know this, if you guys saw the video or not, but uh, Jesse, uh, I know you're watching this right now. I just have a gut feeling. Um, you told me and Josh who Deck Chair really is, uh, the supposed new owner of your platform, and I'm sure people would love to know who Deck Chair is. I'm, I'm sure that would be uh, awesome. So uh, if you don't respond within the 10-day span after this video is uh, published, I will expose who Deck Chair is publicly uh, to everyone on my YouTube channel. Um, and if I have to do that, so be it. Um, because I'm, I'm done playing games with you and uh it, it's it's about time that, that 
we, we settle this and we can settle that in court. That's perfectly fine with me. That's that's where a lot of people settle things professionally. So I can settle it in court with you. That's fine. Um, you know, you want to fake these plots for your channel. You, you, you know, you want to fake being psycho and fake, you know, being emo and all this stupid bullshit. This isn't f***ing fake, all right? This isn't fake. You're not going to pull this on me, Jesse, all right? Wake up. It's the, it's the real f***ing world now. And look what kind of situation we're having right now. Look how f***ed up this is. Look how unnecessary that this is. That I have to put... I, I have to even be talking to a f***ing camera right now about this bullshit in the first place. All because of your dumbass. So I've tracked Dexter down through Facebook and white pages and various other uh, websites that I've used to track down a specific address that I will travel to and I will talk to Deck Chair on camera for YouTube. I don't give a shit about putting it out. I don't give a shit. You can sue me. You can try to sue me for all these different charges, right? Try to sue me for assault and all this that I did, which I'll admit, yeah, I, you know, they're, they're rash decisions. I'm not saying that those are right decisions. You can try to sue me. You can try to fight against me in court. That's fine. All I'm saying is that I'm suing you. So... Worth it. And I'm sure you wouldn't like that very much, right? For me to put, put the deck chair thing out publicly on my YouTube channel, me talking to him. I, something tells me, uh, something resonates with me that you wouldn't like that very much. Yeah, God forbid uh, uh, people find out who owns the f***ing platform. Yeah. Wow. I know, that's crazy. God forbid uh, being transparent a little bit with your audience for once. Uh, because, yeah, an anonymous owner, that's, that's a good idea, right? Yeah, no, it's not so uh it's, it's really not <clears throat> so yeah 10 days starting now 10 days to respond to me it's your choice or in other words uh to uh quote something that you have once said the ball is in your court well guys i gotta say this guy means business shallow means business well riley he's met. his name's riley wow <laughs> what he said at the end if you don't respond I will reveal the identity of deck chair and that's going to be the craziest thing ever guys knowing the fact that he's going to go through lengths to do that now like I said before guys he, he had done a lot of bad stuff you know see him running through the pool sneaking in I seen the story for our video of where he snuck into his uh, computer room I would say and try to look through his laptop and try to find out the password to his thing and no luck. But seeing Jesse steal that money, I'm sure I have a feeling that that might be his money, Jesse's money. Where's, we know this is a skit right here. I have a feeling this guy has, has a fan. He's helping him out, maybe do a story. But I, I can't wait to see how this happens because I'm sure you guys remember what happened on Jesse's last video, right? Psycho Dad's home takeover. He took over his house and he's going to collect rent until he gets paid the the fifty nine forty nine thousand dollars that he owes well actually forty nine thousand one hundred dollars since uh he only gave him nine hundred and now we're seeing nick i i have a feeling i don't know if psycho Dad's actually taken over the channel but um we've seen how nick actually uh, is being the cameraman for the psycho dad and it's weird how jesse gets up so with Nick on that, even when he says, "Is this why? Is this the reason why your cameraman uh, quit because you don't fucking pay him?" Sorry, sorry for the language. And that shut him up. Uh, guys, we got we know the story. We know the stories between uh, Parker and uh, most of all Corn. We knew about that because he wanted more money because of you know doing the. Try to get try to get get up really early to head over to New Zealand to do the story of the last psycho video, but he wanted more money. But guys, I, we, we kind of see what's what's going on. I mean, his YouTube channel wasn't doing very well because, as you guys noticed, that he's been doing a lot of videos on Storyfire, and he stepped away from he stepped away from uh, the YouTube, which which the platform gave him a lot of gave him the start and gave him a lot of money. And I, I, I hate to say this, but sorry, I had to say sorry, uh, sorry about what happened with uh, PewDiePie, if I remember correctly, who's the one who told all, told ninety five percent of all advisors to leave the apocalypse that we've heard, that we've heard about and we've seen. It kind of sucks knowing the fact that you can't make a lot of money out of it. So, despite that, guys, I have a feeling that 
It's going to be Shallow versus McJuggernaut. That's what exactly I'm going to say. Well, guys, I'm at the gym right now, so I'm getting ready to work out. So by the time you guys see this video, I'm working out. Working out my legs because they're, they're, the, they're the ones that support me. <laughs> if you know what, if you're going to get the joke, then I'm sorry. Well, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction gameplay. Drop some likes if you enjoy this. Let me ask you guys, in 10 days, do you think Jesse's gonna, actually going to uh, react to this? I think he will. I think he's going to react to this ch this channel and find out exactly what's going on. And let's see, I, I think we'll hear what he has to say. If not, like I said, I have a feeling we might see Psycho Dad doing his own thing. And we're going to see Nick actually be his cameraman. We don't know that yet. I think tomorrow we'll know the answer. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to stay positive. And if he does, that's going to be the craziest thing ever. The identity of Deck Chair. That's going to be the craziest thing he's ever did or maybe seen in history.